Wouldn't it be nice if you could study smarter, get good grades and absorb knowledge faster? We usually spend too many hours studying or reading through pages, pretending to be learning and going nowhere. It can be overwhelming when you think about how much time you need to truly understand lots of data on a brand new subject when learning. Keep in mind that the main aim of education isn't to get straight A's, but to obtain a vital life skill with understanding concepts and retaining information. This studying technique can help you stay focused and take on more information with shorter study sessions. So first tip is setting an exact study time. Make sure to include studying in your regular schedule, it will eventually help you turn studying into a habit and regular review will also help you retain information better. Next one is breaking your study into sessions. You probably experienced studying for several hours without breaks before but still end up not improving your grades. Well, an average student can't pay attention longer than one third of a lecture along with citing or listening, so the study time should be chunked down into sessions of about 20 to 30 minutes when our efficiency starts to plummet drastically. After each session, you should take a five minute break to do something that you enjoy and think of it as a reward for all the work that you put in. It can be eating snacks, talking to a friend or even taking a nap, just to reset your thought. And as you keep going at it, it will eventually become like a training. You actually adapt in a way so you can study more efficiently on each session. As much important is setting a dedicated studying space. The reason for that is that your environment greatly affects your behavior. Create a study area where you can place all your textbooks and materials to encourage studying and not to associate it with other activities. Avoid areas such as bedroom, living room or dining area which are not designed for studying and can cause distractions. Some students prefer studying in a quiet space while others listen to music. However, according to research by Stanford University, distractions may negatively affect the student's ability to retain information. That means that music generally does not help people with learning. Fourth one is active studying. You may think that you already understand what you've read if you studied the night before, but it can simply be recognition and not actual recollection of information. Recognition requires a trigger, something that you don't always get during a test. So for example, try to comprehend the information and understand the concept instead of just knowing facts and putting them together. Also when you're highlighting the text, try to underscribe only the important parts. The best way to learn concepts is to put them in your own words, study active by testing or quizzing yourself at your own game. It works since you need to retrieve information from your memory, which is not usually done when simply reviewing notes or reading textbooks. Research shows that testing is most effective when it involves free recall of learned content compared to recognition tasks like multiple choice or true or false questions. Also an obvious one is taking notes while in class. It goes without saying you should expand your recent recollection of a lecture on your notes as soon as you can to boost your initial learning. If you don't understand something, ask a classmate or even your instructor right after class. Moving on to next one is using mnemonics. You can use acronyms, image associations and coin sayings to recall information. For example, a popular mnemonic can be choosing a sentence easy to remember, like Please excuse me my dear Aunt Sally. The beginning letters of each word represent a form of equation being parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition and subtraction. You can also use the SQVR method. Although this method is quite time consuming, it can be effective if it suits your study routine. Especially the review sections where you go through the most important things, you can grasp all the super important data to strengthen your memory. SQVR stands for survey, question, read, recite and review. 